Hello Daily Drafters and welcome back to the channel for today's Daily Draft, the final Lost Caverns of Ixalan draft of the season. I know you've all been waiting for today or been dreading today or somewhere in between, but today will be our final draft on Wednesday. In two days, we'll begin the best deck tournament for LCI. That is the way that I close out formats. Lots of other content creators do things to close out the end of limited sets. And the way that I do it is the best deck tournament. I get the eight best decks I drafted and have them all go up against each other in a uh, single elimination best deck tournament. And it should be a great time. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already so you can get notified of those uploads. But boy, do we have a great pack one pick one here today in Kite Sail Larcenist. This card is incredible. Three mana, two, three flying, ward one. That's basically also a removal spell. There's also an Abrade here, Iceberg, Triumphant Chomp, but nothing competes with Kitesdale Larcenist. And that is an easy Larcenist for me. And we get to follow it up with uh, nothing good. There is a Terror Tide, though. <clears throat> this is a card I haven't played. And Blue Black is pretty good at Self Mill. And having a Board Wipe is also quite good. There's things like Twist and Turns, Colossodactyl here, but I think Terror Tide has the highest upsides. I'm going to go ahead and take that. And now I wish I could take all these blue and black cards. I've had some pretty good success with blue black so far. There's Confounding Riddle, which fills the graveyard for Terror Tide. There is Join the Dead, which is a removal spell. <coughs> but I think I'm going to take my first Confounding Riddle over my first join the dead, especially when we know we want to be filling our graveyard with terror t for terror tide here. I do like a join the dead though. Not a bad pick. All right. Speaking of a bad pick, <laughs> I think I will take shipwreck sentry here. Um, the kind of blue, especially blue black decks that I like to build usually want a copy or two of shipwreck sentry just as a two mana three three defender. It's usually just good enough. I don't really care too much about a puzzle door or really anything else here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the two drop. Black is already drying up. Waylaying pirates. There's a brackish blunder. There's a Watley's final strike. I think I'll take the brackish blunder. Going to have to make sure we don't want too many non-permanents in our potential blue-black deck. But we're not even necessarily sure to be blue-black at this point. Although Echo of Dusk is another reason to kind of do that kind of thing. I think Echo of Dusk is a good two drop for this deck. Waterlogged Hulk, I would probably play a copy in this kind of deck, but I don't think I need to take it here. Here's a con another Confounding Riddle. It's a little late for that card. I think it's quite good. So another Sentry and a Spike Tail, but let's take a second Confounding Riddle here. I don't think any of this is good, so I guess I take a Ray of Ruin. I don't like Self-Reflection at all. Okay, Unlucky Drop is a card you could play. It's fine enough removal. And we're not at all locked into blue-black, but our two best cards are both blue and black here. We didn't see any Death Cat Marionettes. Um... Didn't see any... Oh, gosh. Oak, Oaken Sirens. But we do have two powerful cards. We'll see if we can make them work in the same deck here. Could also just be blue-white with this start. Don't necessarily have to be black, but I think Terror Tide has a good enough upside that if you can make it work, could be pretty good. See if the join the dead wheels? It, it won't, but you never know. <laughs> Crazier things have happened. Wouldn't mind wheeling another shipwreck century. Could be pretty good. Primordial Nar and Cartographer's Companion. And a mineshaft spider, I guess, too. Reminiscence 
Sunbird. I don't think I want to play any of these cards. Spelunking came back, but I'll just take a counterspell here. And, alright, can we save the draft with pack two? There is a Deathcap Marionette, which is a card I said I want, but I think this deck is going to absolutely want a treasure map. It's going to be a little bit more controlling, and I think treasure map is totally fine to put inside of this deck. I, if, this were, if this were not here, I would take the Marionette, but let's start with treasure map here and see if we can continue down a little bit of a blue controlling deck. All right, I guess now's the time we'll take the Marionette over Viper, Black Cave, and Wrestler. A bunch of red and green here, but... <coughs> we can take the uh, self-mill card in Deathcap Marionette and ideally look to be blue-black... Controlling Descend. Maybe we find Uchbenbach. Maybe we find the one blue, one black rare. Where you can like mill yourself and descend up to eight and have it attack and block. That's a good one. Better Triumph as removal. That's also pretty good. Council of Echoes would be playable in this deck, I do think. But Bitter Triumph as removal in our controlling deck, I think... Is still going to be better than a random, or than the other one there. Okay, inverted iceberg. Didn't see the dead weight. I do think dead weight is also important. <coughs> this is tough. First dead weight or first inverted iceberg. I think I'm going to take my first dead weight. They're both very good though. I definitely want at least a couple copies of both if I can get it. Alright, I don't mind playing Snail. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind playing Song in a deck like this, too. But I think a copy of Snail is okay. I don't really need Mer uh, the Cave Diver there. It's not really this kind of deck. So far, not really looking to play out of air. Everything else seems okay, though. Ooh, Waterwind Scout. Perfect. There's a good card. <laughs> Finally a good card for us. It's a Compass Gnome and a Blue Cave as well, but we'll take the Waterwind Scout for sure. Pick six Waterwind Scout is a good sign from this direction. So what am I looking for with this deck? Um, just a little bit more power, too. I don't think this is a Gore Stalker deck. I don't like Cave Worm. It could be okay, but I don't think I need to take it here when I could just take another Snail. Yeah, the Gore Stalker is good with things like Synapse Necromage and, like, a bunch of Snails and... Even marionettes, it's not the end of the end of the world with, but I don't think we need the Gore Stalker there. Looking for some join the deads. Looking for more ways to self mill. Some more marionettes would be good. And then, you know, the Council of Echoes wheeling would be insane. I don't think it does, but, you know, another Waterwind Scout or two would also be very good for us. A Throne of the Groom Captain? <laughs> We've had our fun with that in the format. I think I'll take another Unlucky Drop, but I don't know if I want to play two. Again, we're, we have to make sure that our permanent count stays really high. For things like Terror Tide to be remotely good. He says as 
there's really no good permanence in blue or black. I don't think companion is a good one. So I'll take a blunder here. Guess I'll take a wrestler. That could be playable, I suppose. Okay, another snail. Also, Hoverstone Pilgrim, honestly... You know what? I think I'm going to take the Hoverstone Pilgrim here. It's actually been a little bit more of a problem for my opponents than I originally expected. Oh, look, Song came back. That's something we could actually play. It's been a bit more of a problem for my opponents, and I haven't put it in my deck yet, so I think I might try it. Look at that. Deep Cavern Bat. Let's go. It's exactly what we needed. That's a little bit of power. There is a dead weight, a visage of dread, and to a lesser extent, the Enigma Jewel. That's something we were not we would not play, but we will play a Deep Cavern Bat for sure. And a Chupacabra Echo. Ooh. No, I can't. I have not had the chance to play with the green god. I think I've played with all of I played with red, white, and black but i have not played with the blue or green one and honestly i think the blue and the green well the black one's the best but blue and green are next best and i haven't had a chance to play with them but we're gonna take chupacabra echo here we just can't really make that work but this is perfect for our deck so we'll take that another marionette don't mind if i do in an otherwise quite bad pack there and <coughs> we're at 12 creatures. We have six non-creature or six non-permanent so far. I have a bunch of options here, but I don't have to necessarily play any of them. Okay, this is a tough one. Between Echo of Dusk and Join the Dead. I think I'm going to take my first Join the Dead. I think removal is still relatively important. We do have a dead weight. I do like Echo of Dusk. I think it's good for the deck. But I'm going to take my first Join the Dead here. If I already had a Join the Dead, I'd probably take my second Echo of Dusk. But our curve is looking fine. Wouldn't mind finding a Council of Echoes somewhere in this pack. Another Deadweight in this pack. Absolutely nothing in this pack. <laughs> yeah, there, there's nothing I'm playing here. Again, probably nothing I'm playing here. Yeah. Okay, I could play a blue blue cave. That's that's not a bad pickup. And a black cave. I think I can play a black cave. We didn't really get any of the power we wanted, but we did get a couple of caves, which I think is nice. We probably don't need the Ray of Ruin. We've got a good amount of removal here. Oh, dead weight. Wow, the dead weight wield. That is great. Probably got at least one blunder. Probably cut... Yeah, cut the Gnar. Probably cut at least one Wrestler. One of every color. <laughs> <coughs> this still requires probably two cuts here. Okay, so we kind of got there. I think the deck is... 
I think the deck is a little bit higher than average, probably like a 6 or a 6.5 out of 10. It's not great, but it's not, it's not horrible. So non-permanent spells include all of this here. Everything else seems like it's going to be okay. I think the wrestler is even fine. So which of which two of these do I cut and do I play 16 lands? I think I'm definitely playing all of these, so I'm cutting two of this here, probably at least that, and then Treasure Map kind of serves the same purpose as Reminiscence here, so we play a Blunder and an Unlucky Drop. Play 17 lands? Yeah, I think I'm okay with 17. Okay. Good old blue-black control. Don't know if it's going to be good enough, but I'll find out with you. It's again game number one. All right, we go first. And yeah, we can cast basically everything in the hand. Probably starting on treasure map here. No, that's a lie. It's going to be one of these. Yeah, it's probably just going to be one of these here. And there goes two blue sources. That way if we draw a land, we can play Treasure Map and Scry. Or we can not draw a land. Do I have to trade? I mean, our deck is trying to go to the late game. I don't like trading here, but we've got Riddle and Blunder. If Yeah, I thought they might have that. What other dino you got? Colossodactyl. That's also a pretty big problem for us. I guess I can blunder over over snail here. There we go, got to land. So now we can counter the Colossodactyl here more than likely. Because that's going to be something that we're going to struggle to deal with. We're countering that. <laughs> that card is incredibly good. bottom that. I can play the sentry and use the map here and potentially block that. I'm going to try that. Ok, 
Okay. It can still block, though. We might be able to get two good cards out of their hand with these double snails here. <coughs> okay, that's annoying. Now they got a 4-4 four, four and a 4-5. It's Quint paying, killing our sentry. Yeah, we do get to get rid of of a Colossodactyl and another card, though. And we take six. Okay, this has trample, right? No, they don't have trample. So we're just gonna have to basically just like jump here just to like try to survive. Just to preserve a good amount of life. We've got a life linker coming. What else did you draw? A pit of offerings or something? What do you got? Nope, just discover. Okay. Spider. It's good. So I can Echo of Dusk and then Deadweight something. Take six. Doesn't feel great to do that, but it does prevent it from attacking us. So now we just take six here. This will be able to attack. Actually, they can both attack now. Now we play a scout and then join the dead, probably the spider here. <coughs> I 
Unless they discover into something ridiculous that we have to counter. Hmm. It's not ridiculous, but it's... It's, it's probably something I have to counter because I need this thing to gain me more life here. So I'll be taking... Eight right now unless I choose to block this which I probably will yeah I think I have to block the kin collar now and take six they get a counter back but I've got to join the dead I gain four more go to seven potentially five more Oh, wow. Huh. Now I have to join the dead. Go to four. Cavalry and another creature? No? Just a counter on it? Okay. I don't know that I actually need to mill anymore here. Like, everything we care about, as far as descending, is already in the yard. So I don't actually think we need to. I don't like that I'm going to give them a Dreadmaw's Ire back once I eventually Terror Tide, but... It might have to just happen. Another chance is what this deck is missing, right? Probably should have used another chance at some point. I only think I saw one of them in the draft. And I passed it for what I assume is something that was better. Another It's Quint killing our marionette with haste. Take six. Good top deck. All right. Time to give them their, uh, their ire back here. If only I could have drawn another threat. Ah, oh, there's one for you. You've got Trample.
Does that kill artifact or enchantment? No, just artifact. Another threat? Nope. Okay. I don't know if we have enough cards left in the deck to <laughs> to do anything here. All right, we're both just struggling. I think I'm going to hold the echo for when they play their next creature. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so five lands in our last nine cards. That's too many. I don't know if we have enough enough firepower to actually win here. We might have to get this echo down now so we can try to start pressuring their life total. Yeah, I really wanted to use this to actually like I just realized once I counted there that I kind of had to just play this because we don't have enough cards. We have four lands left here, so I don't know what else we've got. That has haste. Huh. Okay, still have us now. Fortunately, I played a haste creature. Because now they just do it again next turn and dead weight can't kill it? I still think Dreadmaw's Ire might kill us here, but we can do our best. I just don't, again, I don't think we have enough gas left to deal 16 points of damage to them. Had no choice. Had to do that. Alright. What's on the bottom? Hmm. Have we cracked our blue cave land yet? It's already in there. I could deadweight that, but I need to get the Larcenist down here. If they kill the Larcenist, then they get their Hotfoot Gnome back. But I need to, again, somehow pressure their life total. So submit zero for me and this for you. And again, I'm just, if they have removal, then they have removal, but I have to try to use this to attack. Now they top deck that. And that will do it. All right. Never really had, never really had it there. We dealt with every single one of our threats and couldn't do it. Okay, we go first here with the treasure map on two, and that is a good enough reason to keep.
Um. Sure. I will take it. Draw. Main, and I guess I'll do the same to you. I'll take another land that lets us do confounding riddle here. Sure. I'll, I'll try to eat this snail. I mean, it's basically free. I can hold up Bitter Triumph as well. Looks like they're a little mana screwed, unless they're just mono black. I think I'd rather keep up Confounding Riddle and Treasure Map activation than play a Marionette here, so that's what I'll do. Another chance. No, I don't really want you getting back another Snail and possibly a Spike Tail that you could cast. Alright, they're just mana screwed. But, not like we were putting a ton of pressure on him. <laughs> Alright, we're up first with a sentry or a marionette. Water scout on... Water wind scout on three if we find a land. Uh... Let's just... Let's just play this here. I don't think it particularly matters which one we do first. I'm sure, I'll do this now and hit two lands. No, one land and one of the better cards in our deck. Well, that's okay. We got two. Um, Two counts toward Descend here. Happy to trade if you want to use your mana. Okay, Companion is fine. Land is also fine. Go ahead and just play a scout. Pirates tapping down sentry, yeah. Hmm. I think I'll put it here and then hold up confounding riddle I guess I don't think I'm blocking with the scout now I have to take a good bit of damage here at least five Yeah, I'll trade. That's fine. Nah, 
I'm all right. What is that, a 4-4? It's going to be a 4-4? Yeah, with Trample. I guess I'll just say no to that. Play this thing, and then next turn we've got Snail and a removal spell. Looks like they're getting a little bit mana screwed here. Okay, found a land. And don't have a braid. Can actually just <laughs> choose to discard a card at this point because we have all the lands we need. Got rid of a counter spell. The snail blocks the companion well. They got their own Hoverstone Pilgrim. Okay. Ward 2, right? Yeah. Okay. Got him on a three turn clock here. Sure. If they move to equip the Nautilus, I think I kill it. Eh. Actually, this does minus 10, minus 10, so... Sure. Oh no! I gave it a loot, I forgot. That was dumb. Forgot that looted on attacks. I thought it looted on a hit for a moment. But, it's okay. Sure. <clears throat> Still dead next turn. Hopefully the loot didn't help them find something. Okay, that could help them find something. Nope. That is not the answer. And there we go. All right, a couple of flyers, all you need to win. <laughs> all right, here with our mono black deck with some surprising blue cards thrown in. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, start with cave. Next turn, probably just play... See what they get here. Two, three. Huh. We're not blocking. I guess I'll just play this, and next turn we can do either Snail and Deadweight or Treasure Map and Deadweight. Probably Treasure Map. So that I can Deadweight their Pirate. And then Treasure Map, and then try to find some land here. A 
Tully's favor. Discovering into a compass gnome. Okay. Searching for one because they probably missed a land. Looks like they did. Go to main and... I guess play this so we can trade with their scout here. There goes a blue. Dynatomaton, give it to that, of course. Join the dead, can't even cast it anymore. Okay, there we go. I'm probably just gonna blunder their some th oh gosh. And of course they can pay four. That card is an absolute beating. Don't think we can beat Dire Flail. I guess I don't need to do it pre-combat, or in my upkeep here. Gonna equip this, no? Huh. Got rid of a Brine Fang. No, I think I will just use the treasure map. Try to flip that. Gonna have to unlucky drop this thing at some point, probably. Down goes Echo. Equip this, hit us for six. Snack a treasure, draw a card. Another riddle. We're going to use unlucky drop here, so we can just do this. Play the scout, it becomes a 2-3. Oh, do I counter it? No, I can't even counter it. Equip it. Hey, I just see the writing on the wall in this game. We're doing the best we can, but... Can give it menace.
They could also... Okay, we can actually counter that this time. And I can block. Unless they... Yeah, I mean, if they explore, make it a 5-4, I will double block if it hits a non-land. Okay. We survived for a moment. So let's do this. Let's do... This. And then pass. I could attack with the sentry here, but I don't think I will. Because they can start throwing this dire flail thing at us if they craft it, which I'm sure they will at some point here. Yeah, they just craft it with anything in the yard, use the treasure, equip it, throw this thing. Does it have trample? No. So they're going to throw it at this, we double block it, I guess. That's what we got to do here. Sure. I think I'll keep Confounding Riddle in hand so I can try to counter their potential next play. What can I do now? So one, two, three, four, five. So I can still go one, two, three, four, five here and activate that and hold up Riddle. Okay, dead weight into hand. Play another cave and pass it back. <coughs> All right, my turn again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's pretty good. That gets rid of their blunderbuss here. And I think I will just continue to hold up Riddle as opposed to casting a deep cavern bat. We have all of our reactive spells and none of the spells that are, are proactive here. I guess I could just cast the bat now. As a 1-1 lifelinker. If they if they draw something, they're going to cast it. Oh, okay. Got Natalie's favor. That's something. So, end the turn. Riddle is getting farther and farther away from being able to counter something here. So, I might just use it to... Uh... Oh, well. Alright, I'll make them sacrifice their blunderbuss if they want to keep this. I think that's okay. I'll be basically trading this for a blunderbuss here. So let's see if they... Okay, they will do that. That's totally fine by me because now I can just Chupacabra Echo it. Auto pay the ward. And then get on in there.
Lodestone needle. Okay. Don't think I need to mill anymore. We've only got 10 cards left in deck, so I will decline. One, two, three, four. Still not dead. I'm sure they can craft this. Okay, cave diver, craft, explore, I guess. So I'm bitter triumphing pitching dead weight here more than likely. Because they're going to lock the larcenist down. It's kind of their only way to live. Yeah, so they pirate, they lock this down, we kill the pirate, hit them for two, and then they're dead. That should do it. Drawing all sorts of lands here. I'm wondering if 16 is actually good. We're drawing a good amount of cards. This treasure map really helps us out. I'm thinking 16 might actually be okay for this deck. We don't have a ton of mana sinks either. On the draw here, I did cut down to 16 lands and add an additional unlucky drop here. Of course we find another land. Um, can two for one our souls with a bitter triumph here at some point just to kill something. <laughs> there we go. That's a good draw. All right, we'll take that. No, we could pay three life. I always forget that option too. <laughs> In this deck, we've had so many lands to pitch to this. We've never needed to use that. Okay, a braid sentry attack with wanderglyph. Sure. Probably have to join the dead this thing next time. Or next turn. Unless I can draw something better to block it. Miss a land drop? Darn. Can't always be lucky. I think I will join the dead. We just don't have any creatures to block this thing, and I don't really want them to uh, to be able to rummage anymore if they are kind of missing land drops. Lava Tongue. Hit a land. A lava Tongue with double island. Good for you, I guess. Okay, diamond pickaxe. Equip. And then... Before they get a treasure, just send it back. More lands is absolutely not what I need. Okay, Lava Tongue again. And I think at this point I'm just going to discard one of these lands. Don't really see a reason not to. We've got plenty of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's just do this. Just doing that so they can discover from the yard, I guess. Okay. Discover five into belligerent yearling. Sure. Ooh, what a draw. <coughs> Hidden volcano into Sage of Days. Sure. I think I'll trade an Echo for a Sage of Days if they'll let me. Eh, let's see what we find first. Sure. I think I will choose to mill. There goes our board wipe. Okay, go to 13. I will block your sage with my marionette if you give me the opportunity. That's a lodestone needle. Hmm. Oh, they locked down the marionette so they can attack. Oh, they're just going to craft now. I see. Okay. Because they knew that we could use the Hoverstone Pilgrim to put things on the bottom here. Ooh, Captain Storm. Yikes. Probably want to keep that on top. No? Okay. Well, I'll still trade here. Because I'm assuming you're trying to buff this up to be big enough to where I can eat this, but I still have Brackish Blunder, so... I can still just bounce this. Sure. Okay, you missed. And you use the swamp, which is awkward, because now you can't hit a Necropolis here. <coughs> I will let you attack, just to get a... a you'll get a treasure, but... I'll get a map. That's a trade I'm willing to make. Oh, you just didn't want to. Well, then in that case, I guess I'll just bounce it now. Uh, what could they have that they want to craft with? A dinosaur, maybe? Like the Sahili's Lattice? And... Maybe another artifact? Still dead on board. Now they're not. Sure. And sure. Cave in with one. So now we got to put caves under their deck. One, two, three, 
four, okay? Okay. Deep Cavern Bat doesn't do much. Let's see what we can find here. Okay. That's great. Okay, they're going to wipe the board next turn. Or, well, that won't work for you because if you wipe it with Calamitous Cave and I still have a Hoverstone Pilgrim and that is lethal. So you're going to have to crack the Necropolis here. Deep King, that is fine. And there we go. All right, playing that control game, getting those wins. <laughs> All right, we're up first with a Deep Cavern Bat on two. And that is a good enough reason to keep back into the, the numbered mythic ranks here. So we have to take the idol, otherwise the idol can get back, um, can take the bat down by itself here. At least we do know that they have Ancestor's Aid in, t in hand now. Now we could use Bitter Triumph to try to play around that. Take two. See if we need to unlucky drop something here. I don't think we will. We're probably just playing Hoverstone Pilgrim next turn. What does this do? Plus two plus oh first strike, so it doesn't give any sort of buffs. As far as like untapping and things like that. Dousing device, sentry. They can attack with both of these now, so we have to take six. It's not great. Because we can't block with the Pilgrim. Because we know they have Ancestor's Aid in hand. Oh, that's annoying. Because that now kills Deep Cavern Bat. <sighs> yeah, no blocks. Take seven. Hmm. Yeah, I see the writing on the wall in this game here. Now I can blow out their Ancestor's Aid with Bitter Triumph and use an Unlucky Drop here. I'm sure they're going to idle my Deep Cavern Bat. Seems like the easiest thing to do.
This Sunshot Militia is going to be quite annoying as well. We might just have to Bitter Triumph that so we don't continue to take additional damage here. Thinking long and hard about how to attack here. <laughs> Unless I have timed out. I might have to re restart arena. No? Okay. They were just thinking. Alright, so we will... Pass to blockers and do this here. I don't want them re-deploying a water wind scout. This, well, I guess I could. Because whatever, I'm going to unlucky drop whatever the uh, ancestors aid onto here. It's probably going to be this. And I think I'm going to bitter triumph that. So unfortunately I can't blow out because all they have to do is just let this happen and then Idol of the Deep King. Although the Idol can't actually tr target this right now. So let's do this. Discard a card. Hit that. <coughs> and the Idol can't target the Hoverstone Pilgrim because of Ward. So it's probably just going to target the Echo of Dusk, I would think. Oh, that's weird. I'll just do this then. Okay. Ooh, nice pickup there. Okay, so now... Is this a race I win? So I hit him for 4 to 11, they hit me to 7, I hit him to 7, they hit me to 4, I hit him to... Three, they hit me to one, but I have a snail as well. Okay, I can afford to do it at least once here. Although if they play an artifact creature, that's pretty bad because of the dowsing device. Yeah, I don't need the hat at all. Sure, go to four. Okay, that's that's something. Gosh, because if, if they play an artifact creature, it gets haste and plus one plus oh. I'm just gonna hold this back for that reason. I can't risk it. Oh, Lodestone Needle. Okay, 
Yeah. So now not attacking with the snail is going to come back to potentially... Oh no, do they have another artifact creature? This means they win if they're doing it this way. Yeah. Or they could just craft and equip. Oh. Oh man. So they drew an artifact here, which is what got it for them. Because any artifact would have done it. So I needed to hold back the pilgrim. Yeah, I just overextended. Just overextended. Should have held back the pilgrim. There was no reason to attack with that thing. Okay, we'll go ahead and keep this here. These last ones are just the most frustrating way to lose because it was 100% your fault. I mean, I just shouldn't have attacked with the pilgrim there. There was no reason for me to do that. Just attack with the snail and the other one. Hold this thing back. This this has ward. Because I was dead to any... Um, at that point, I was dead to literally any artifact. Because they could have just played the artifact and then craft it. And then, as you saw, die. <laughs> so, yeah. Check out their hand here. I'll just take the removal spell. Although the marionette makes this pretty good, but I do have my own bitter triumph, unlucky drop, and marionette to trade with that at some point here too. I just want to make sure I get their last card out of their hand. I don't know what it is, but now's the best time to do it. Because if I don't do this, I'm never getting anything out. Turns out it was just a land, but... Still, I mean, I can just chump the 3-4 now. Oh, really? Uh, I, I hate everything. <laughs> uh... Five mana, so marionette and riddle here. I'll kill that. Pass to the end. Let them return that and then counter it on the way back down here. That'll be my way to deal with this bomb rare. Okay, Scallywag, yep. Guess I'll just do this. See what I can find here. Come on, I need some bricks from you. The opposite of a brick. The opposite of a brick. <laughs> Come on. Just hitting everything. Oh. 
another one, of course. Even if I deal with that one, they'll get another. Okay, cool. So, put it in the yard for that reason. I think I have to song. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to song this thing. Which means I have to drop the marionette, probably, or drop this. Okay, they shuffled it away. The song is going to have to deal with the souls because it's like a 6-7 or something like that. And they're going to... They're going to uh, descend here now. And have another creature? What else do you have? Oh my gosh. And get rid of the deep cavern path. I hate, I hate everything. Sometimes things just don't go your way. I don't think we need to mill anymore. Kind of done everything we need to on that front. Perfect. More card draw. And more descend. And another counter, and a more removal, so we're dead here. We're just many ways dead. Um... Swamp, they still have Ray of Ruin in hand. We're at five somehow. <laughs> They've got two removal spells, a bunch of treasures. So if I do this, they can they can join the dead something, but then they don't they don't descend this turn. And if it happens, then they trigger lava tongue, and this also becomes a one powered thing. But then this goes it goes down again. Let's see if they use join the dead. No, okay. Hmm. It doesn't matter what that does because it's dying anyway. But it's going to eat the join the dead here. And there's, I can't really do anything else. 
about that. I just have to let that happen. So they'll join the dead. Can't do anything about it. So I play Pilgrim, the Ray of Ruin. I have to get these removal spells out of their hands somehow. So I go to three. Okay, that's something I can use. <coughs> okay, trying to fight our way back. I'm putting that in my hand and I can't attack because they have a negative 312 <laughs> that's an Aklazotz and it keeps coming back over and over and over again so what is this deck Yeah, that'll that'll kill us. <laughs> hmm. Craft with two creatures. Yep. 5-4. He's got Menace. Removal kills us here. Yep. Hey, it's tapped. Haha. -ha. Death cap marionette. I don't think that's good enough. <coughs> I'm doing the best I can here, but I'm on the struggle bus to say the least. Wait, they have a Thunder Hulk? Screaming Phantom. Ugh. 
a greedy freebooter. <laughs> okay, uh, sure. So I take two, potentially? So, if they attack with Aklazots, if they... If I do this pre-combat, they won't attack here. If I do this after this attacks, this trigger will be on the stack. I can't discard a card. They will draw a card. They'll put it on top and then immediately draw it again. And then I would trade with it. So... I do it now. And then they can't attack with Phantom. They have to chump with Phantom. They play Marionette. I have to draw something again here. Removal and I win? Uh. Wait, does that counter Aklazots? No. Five. They can still pay four. So one... Two, three. Dead weight does it. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? What an insane game. How on earth did I win that? <laughs> oh man. I have no idea how I managed to win that game. All right, we go first with Snail into Map here. Into Scrying on Upkeep to see what we can find. I guess we don't have to scry on Upkeep, because usually that's just if you're trying to hit lands. And we're not going to have a problem with that, I don't think. So we'll start with Snail. Next turn we'll do Map. Scry on end step over there. Forest, swamp, marionette. That's fine. These trade. I'm sure you'll be want to. Ooh, deep cavern bat. Good thing that's gone. Unfortunately, forgot to, uh, do that post-combat again. That's another thing I just keep messing up. Tarion's Journal. Okay. Alright, got a Hotley's final strike out of hand. It's probably because the other creatures, or the other cards are creatures, are actual threats. I was expecting a spider there. Yeah, that's okay. I think I'll get rid of this here now so I can attack and then 
I can also use the treasure map. Then I can blunder. Looks like they, they put it on the bottom. They didn't want the spider anymore. Discard your hand to transform it. Wow, getting rid of a stomper and an offering. What does it become again? Okay, you can cast a creature from your graveyard. Sure, that's also fine, I guess. What does the finality counter do again? It will go to a graveyard, so if I bounce it, it doesn't it loses its counter. Okay. So let's do this, and that kind of turns off the journal a little bit, because if they if they target Well No, because if it casts it goes on the stack and I can't activate this anymore, so I'm gonna have to activate this. before they can do anything with it. They get one, right? I guess they get the Deep Cavern Bat. <clears throat> Maybe, if they want it. Paleontologist. Ah, Echo with... Yeah, I have to keep it. It's got zero in the yard, but that's okay. Let's go to main. Go to combat. Get in here. And if they activate that, I can then use the Hoverstone Pilgrim. I forgot I don't have a second black source either. It's not great. Okay, so let's get rid of this and this here. Then they can cast a marionette and that's fine with me. Didn't hit another creature. Start here. Sure. Do this. Then I can attack with everything. Can I actually... No, I'm just going to do this. I'm fine with trading as well. Sure. Playing the Echo would guarantee lethal next turn, but I think I'm okay just not doing that. I can bounce something with Blunder here. Make them pay. I think I might bounce this to my own hand. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Moving to the championship game. Six and two. Last game of Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Coming up here. And starting off the last game with what is likely going to be a mulligan. A black makes this hand really good. Any land lets us play Larcenist and or Riddle. I guess I'll keep it for that reason, but gosh, I hate it. Okay, well, we found it. We're good to go. Now just any X2. That's good. I can deadweight that. Yeah, and I think I will do that over treasure map here.
Waterwind Scout. Sure. I think I'll turn that into a treasure. Ultec Cloud Guard, yeah. I think I'd like to hold up the riddle here. And Bitter Triumph, I guess. <coughs> Why is that attacking? Do they have... Um... Cosmium Blast, maybe? Okay. No? Okay. Alright. Um, I can map and hold up Riddle here or just play a Pilgrim, I guess? Maybe they have a way to deal with the Larcenist at this point, but the Pilgrim blocks these things well. Yeah, I figured they'd probably have to do something like that. I'm probably going to join the Dead the Vanguard because it gains Indestructible, unless I need to counter something here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to join the Dead and hope they don't have anything too great to counter, or that I need to counter. Okay, good, they didn't. I'm sure that's a land, but it's got to be a land, so I don't think I need that. Yeah, that's okay. I can keep that. Because I can also bounce my own Hoverstone Pilgrim if I want to. I think I might do that. Or I just win. <laughs> Alright, I guess they had enough of it. Last draft of the format, and we get a trophy. Feels great. Tune in on Wednesday for the LCI Best Deck Tournament, where I put all of my trophy decks up against each other to see which one is the absolute best deck of the entire format that I drafted. It was a fun format. Thanks for tuning in today and for the life of it. See you for the tournament, and I'll see you next time for your daily draft.